Well, my name is Chris Godris. I am the founder of Eggs Up Grill, uh, which started in Pauley's Island, South Carolina. Uh, I'm third generation. My grandfather started in 1939. My dad worked for him. I worked for my dad. I was his breakfast cook. And uh, since then, it's been um, a number of years uh, being in the restaurant business. Um, I have uh, developed all the processes uh, that was necessary for the Eggs Up Grill operation and uh, over the years as we have grown we have now grown to 25 operating stores and we're building eight and uh, the challenge that I have run into uh, since then is replicating the processes to all the employees and all the stores so uh, where we are today coming into this class what it has reminded me of is getting back to the basics getting back to what we know is the right processes to do and to implement those through the organization that they have uh, that i've picked up here especially uh, with uh, getting new employees training them from day one starting them from day one what's expected from them i think we got away from that uh, a little bit over the years and it's been a real challenge because you're finding yourself retraining and redoing things that should have been done months earlier and uh, you know we, we want to set our employees up for success and I don't think that we were doing that looking back and also uh, you know I, I learned that I had settled for I was doing it mostly right we had a lot of stores, we had a lot of employees, and you know, we'd look back and say, yeah, they did a pretty good job today. You know, how'd you do today, Chris? Well, I thought it went pretty good. That's unacceptable now. That's what I'm walking away with. Now, it's why shouldn't we be able to do it 100%? Why shouldn't I be able to make an egg perfect? We know how to do it. We've got all the tools to do it. We've got the systems in place. Why isn't that happening? So it's, it's made me just look back at that and say, listen, you know, we can do this. And uh, you know, you can look at it as saying, wow, this is a big elephant, and how do you eat an elephant? And it's just one little bite at a time. So we're gonna start from the ground up, and we're gonna learn how to do that mop bucket. We're gonna do it perfect, and we're gonna get a process for it, and we're gonna put it in all our stores, and we'll start there. And once that's finished, we go to the next thing. So um, my attitude has changed, uh, my enthusiasm has changed all over again uh, for my restaurants, and um, I, w I can't wait to get started. Uh, I remember when I only had my uh, one store, we didn't get any complaints. Food didn't come back into the kitchen. You know, I was, I was doing all the cooking in the kitchen with the people that I brought on board who still work for us, by the way, after all these years. And, you know, sending food out that wasn't right was not the way I did things. And, you know, when we talked about uh, who you know who wasn't satisfied today what went wrong it was like you know in other words if food came back into the kitchen it was like well, why did that happen and uh, you know it just didn't happen but as you get bigger and as you get more and more employees and you you, you kind of get away from that the margins go out further and uh, you, now you, you lower your expectations and you lower the, the way you do things because you gotta get faster and you gotta get faster, you gotta get bigger and, and quicker and let's get a body in here, I, I'm shorthanded, let's get somebody in and you know, so the training went in another direction and uh, didn't have all of those things in place. So, uh, you know, I used to, someone come in to work for the first day, I'd put an apron on and say, okay, you're gonna be buttering toast today. You, know, you stay in there and no, don't do it like that, do it like this. And it was incredibly frustrating for them, um, but, and for myself included. So it wasn't until we started to develop these uh, job descriptions of how things are done that kind of got us to another level. But you know, you're, you're, you can always slip back if you don't continue the standard of the way things are. And, and, and that's, that's what's happened. And I think it happens for a lot of businesses in this country. Is they allow, they start accepting things. They, they start accepting a substandard that, and you say, well, that's pretty good. And we, did, we, we, we were good. And so uh, that, that, that's not gonna work anymore. Not, not for me, not, not when I know we've got the tools to perform at 100%. We just need to implement them and we need to do them better. Listen, we wanna be fair to you. We want you to be able to do what everybody else is doing. We all wanna do it the same together. And you know, we would ask for their help with that. 
you know, help us to teach the new coming in and to, and to make them be a part of this great team that we have, this great concept that we have. And, um, I, you know, I think that we can pull that off. I do. I think that we can really, you know, talk to our employees that they really love working for us. But once they know that we're now starting to develop programs that's going to make their job more fun, more fair, and more exciting, and how can they not want to be a part of that? And if they're not, okay, that's, that's good. But we're going to stick to where we're going to go with this thing because we know the importance of it and we know the outcome. We've seen it when we visited the stores uh, in PALS. It was just extraordinary. It's like, you know, this, this can be done. I can see that. That's, it's possible. I want to do it. I can't wait to bring them all in here. We've already started with some of them and they come back. Uh, this is, I'm, like, I'm coming in today, however, uh, a couple of my management and my colleagues have come and they wearing their pals pin and they're all excited about it and I went, you know, like, okay, it was a seminar, you know, it's probably really good. But it wasn't until I sat in here and saw what goes on that it's like, yeah, this, this is good. This is good stuff. And I want my whole organization to be a part of this. I want them all to see it, uh, how, how it can be done and how it, how it can be taught. Organized and clean. <laughs> That's the first thing that comes in my head because this is uh, as about as organized as you can get. Um, and I like organized, I, I do. Um, you can look at my car, it's clean and, and vacuumed every day. Uh, so why wouldn't I want that in my restaurant? Why not? Um, it's because I gotta train them and teach them to do it and keep them accountable. Uh, I used to do it myself uh, and, and, and try to work by uh, you know, letting them see what I do and you do the same. But there's a different approach to that now. Now I see it's just like we can still do that, but we can train them how to do it so that there's no question of, I know where that broom goes, I know where that mop goes, I know how to clean it, and I know what it should look like. That's the difference.